Hello. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how I design my t-shirts, sweatshirts, all kinds of shirts. So I start off, I should have showed you my cardboard, but those cardboards, these cardboards, t-shirts, it's kind of like, it's shaped like a t-shirt. You can buy them from Hobby Lobby for $2.99. All the items that I use come from Hobby Lobby. So, I have letters. As you see, they're worn, used. Um, today, I'm going to do um, the big letters. I'm going to mix in with the small letters. So, I start doing these t-shirts um, when I start doing my YouTube uh, videos. And I wanted to have something to... Um, Something to say <clears throat> the title of my show called Let's Talk About It. Talk about all kinds of things. And so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Someone asked me who makes my t-shirts, and I was like, me. There was a time when I, you know, I want I was you know shopping around, wanted somebody to do it, and a lot of times this stuff you can do yourself. It's not hard. YouTube. Uh, Pinterest, um, all kinds, they have all kinds of little videos to show you, you know, things, just, just type in the search bar and you'll be surprised what you'll find. You can always find something that you're looking for. So I'm going to be doing, let's talk about it. Like I said, these letters can be bought at Hobby Lobby. All this stuff came from Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> I'm, I'm an I'm a, a avid shopper of Hobby Lobby. They have so many neat little items. T-shirts, they have t-shirts as well. T-shirts are pretty reasonable. T-shirts, sweatshirts, you know, anything that you're looking for. They have it. Let's let's talk about it, okay? That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so here I'm gonna use these wooden letters I got from Hobby Lobby as well. They're in the arts and crafts area. All this stuff is like pretty much all over the store. It's no particular area. Now the t-shirts and the spray that I'm about to show you in a minute, that all came from, you know, the same little area, but the letters came from the opposite side of the store. Okay. There might be a better me method to, you know, to do this, but this is how I do it. I started out, you know, when I started out, it was kind of like, ooh, okay. And as time progressed, practice makes better, not perfect. Practice makes better. Nobody's perfect. But it's gonna it's gonna improve. Your first couple tries might be like, whew. I have a I have a I have a, a tote full of shirts that I have been, you know, making, trying out, and you know, I sell some for my giveaway. You know, it is what it is. But they, these, these items cost, so you just take that. They, these items cost, so you can't just give everything away. The letters cost, the paint cost, the shirt cost, and you can never get paid for your time, all right? These letters, I also, I did a video earlier this week, and if you've seen me with some earrings on that said J, I made these earrings, and somebody was like, where did you get those from? I said, I made them. And so I made her a pair as well. And I use these letters. I have a, um, a couple bags of these letters. Just so, just so I don't have to re, re, you know, keep doing over and over again. I just want to do it one time, spread, you know, put out the words that I want to put out. Whatever it is I'm trying to put on the shirt. I don't do let's, I don't do just let's talk about it. I do whatever people want. You know, whatever, whatever you want me to put on the shirt, I can't, I can do it. All right. And you can as well, because I'm about to show you. So. What I do from that point is, oh, let me show you about this. Let me show you the spray. These sprays come from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, um, they're different. They range anywhere from five dollars to ten dollars. They come in a variety of colors, and um, uh, uh, let's see, Walmart sells them as well. They have like the basic colors, but um, Hobby Lobby is gonna have a more variety of colors, and they also have. The ones they also sell in packs. Like, say you want to get a pack of five or a pack of ten, they have those as well. They also have bigger cans. The bigger cans will last longer. I don't like to do just the same color over and over again, so I get like a variety of different colors. 
And every time I go in there, I try to pick up, you know, a different color or the color that I'm, you know, going to be using. And these, these um, cans are supposed to be stored upside down. And you store them up, upside down because throughout time, the paint can, um, it can, it can, you know, the top can get uh, stalled out or whatever. I don't know why they say store them upside down, but they say store them upside down. <laughs> I should have read that so I could give y'all better instructions, description on why on why they say that. But there, you're supposed to hold them upside down, keep them up, store them up upside down. And because sometimes the um the top of it'll get clogged. And what I did before was I took a top off of the um off of another one that was empty, and I used that, and it sprayed as well. So this is fabric spray. Uh, it comes off. It washes off your skin. But it stays on clothes. Let me say that. It'll stay on clothes. I normally put paint around here to serve as a border so I don't spray any excess on the outside of the shirt. But being, this, being that this is a sample shirt, um, that's why I'm doing it this way. But I advise you, if you were to do this, to make put a barrier around it. Put some tape around it or get some cardboard and put it around it so you won't have any excess spray on any of those, any of the outside that you don't want to get up, that you don't want it to get on. I have sprayed this on jeans. I spray, spray this on shoes as well. This stuff, you can you can, you can functify a lot of stuff with this spray here. And I'm just different, so I'm, I'm willing to try stuff. I like to mix my colors up. You can do you can do whatever color you want, really. I mix mine up. That's what I like to do. Okay, let me get my tweezer back here because you can pick it up, and uh, if it gets on your skin, what I normally do is I'll get some Brillo pad. Brillo pad works good. I get Brillo pad, and I get take my Brillo pad, and I get it off my skin. But I'll get my cardboard, and I'll let it come off. I mean, I'm really the reason why I'm taking it off so soon is because I want to show you guys. I want to hold up this video. Waiting too long. And I like to do this one video, and I keep coming back. I don't want to lose anybody. So yeah. So this is um, how I make sure t-shirts. And like I said, you can use, they have all, they have a, a variety of letters. You also can do stencil. If you get somebody to um, stencil it for you, that's gonna be the next phase of, of um, what, what I'm trying to do. But right now, this is the cheap version of how I make my, my t-shirts. There are other ways to make them, but I saw some videos online and I've been doing it this way ever since and it, uh, it works out. You have to let it dry for at least about 36 hours because if not, it's, it, it, this gets real sticky. So what I do, I let it dry. I let it sit and I let it dry. And after that, then it's ready. It's ready. It's ready to wear. And you wash it. It does not come off. So when you get done. There you go. Let's talk about it. We are always talking about it. And this is how I make my shirts. Let me show you the cardboard. First of all, let me let this, let me let this open this up because I don't want to get all sticky and messed up. But set that there. So the cardboard that, that I used is called Shirt Form. And they have, like I said, they have all this stuff is in Hobby Lobby. And I use these because I can put my shirt on here and I won't have to get it. I won't have to worry about getting it, you know, coming on the other side of the shirt. If it does, it is what it is. But these right here, it helps. And if you don't have this, if you have some old cardboard at home, you can cut it out and, and it does the same thing. And that is how I um, make my t-shirts. So I hope this helps. Let's talk about it. We always talking about it. Making t-shirts.